all's well that ends. He's not as bad as the killers. Yes? I have. And while I do not love my conclusion, that does nothing to change it. The Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of action, we shall have to fall back on second best. Nine Fingers Keen. Name known and feared throughout the city's underworld. The mysterious Keen runs the guild, which in turn runs every criminal enterprise in the city. Nor are we. But I trust she knows the value of collaboration, especially in times like these. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall, huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. Careful, I bite. How oh, for a skeleton key. No rest, be you wicked or wise. <sighs> Something to say. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they failed to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. ...and cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, MY city, to this cult. I... <clears throat> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's old. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me! This is a private council! Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimbor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unhurried. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. Ha! Oh, the best in the city, under or above. So smart a mouth as yours would enjoy it, provided you keep all your teeth. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. 
Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. The treachery is this, Nine Fingers. Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stonewall. Lies. I, I considered that, but there's a pattern to his strikes, and intent. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. I don't let trust tie my hands. That's why I sit in this very fine office. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. There's little point in pressing Nine Fingers further. She means what she says. But we swore no vows. She won't tell us where to find Minsk? Someone else in her guild hall will. We need to be swift. I suppose we must greet the local wildlife. Guild hall is awash with ill scented gossip at the best of times. These days, they have nothing but the Stone Lord to talk about. Stone Lord out in the open, but she's got a spot picked out, see, and, and, uh... I don't care about Stone Lord Tut, don't care about some ambush I asked. You eat my last pickled ooze. Huh? Fuck her off. I'm talking to my friend about an ooze. No, no. He who keeps his manners keeps his teeth. Besides, you are only pretending to be as wine-soaked as your friend here. Oh, I... How can you tell? I've been to fouler festivals than this. And you... have the stage presence of Volothamp Gedarm. Now, you were speaking to my friend. Politely.
very beautiful person. Now, where was I? The Stone Lord, aye. The bastard's going after the accounting out, but he doesn't know that there's just another guild operation. Eh? Huh? Nine Fingers is gonna catch him with his claws in her coffers. <laughs> I pity the bastard. The counting house? But what the hells could Minsk want there? Happy? Now, why were you? We want drink in peace. really have much use for gold, do you, Astarian? I wonder when she'll demand to speak to the man oh. and Welcome to the counting house. I'm head clerk Mead, honey. How may the fellowship of financiers serve you? You seem a little nervous, sir, Mead, honey. Had some difficult customers today? One in particular calling himself the Stone Lord, perhaps. The who? The what? All right, fine. The head banker may have just taken a customer by that name down to the vaults. Rather large, rather heavily armed, which is against regulations. But I'm sure the head banker knows what he is doing. <laughs> I assure you, he does not. You are right to be nervous, but let us pass, and all will be well. Uh, well, who is this stone lord to you? Lord in truth. Forgive me, he did not seem the type. Or, oh, I, I, I mean to say, he was most down to earth. Earthy. About describes him, yes. It's most unusual, but that explains why the head banker is dispensed with normal procedure. I suppose I can let you pass then. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass. And should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. Your shift be over, sir. Mr. Balkan. Account holders only from here. Vault pass? Right. <coughs> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. Which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. something to ask mind your manners down here sir just need to see your vault pass please what's in order blessed day to you
Time to press ahead. For current door codes, please refer to the head banker's office. Highest security clearance only. Still alive, so that's progress. The counting house. More bastion than bank, I'm afraid. Minsk must have a way in. But it's never had much use for coin beyond whatever sharp steel it could buy. There must be something in the vaults the Great Chosen are after. All the more reason to get there. Swiftly. Only what we heard from Keen. He seems to have sprung up while we were out in the Shadowlands. The Stone Lord she described sounds nothing like Minsk. As for the name, well, a bad joke, perhaps. The time of troubles ended almost a century and a half ago. I weathered the years between with all the elven grace you have no doubt come to expect. But do you know how Minsk, a human, passed those years? I'll give you a hint. They named him the Beloved Ranger. You recall the urban myth that trickled through the Lower City Fest Hall some years back. A hero who had been turned into a statue, returning to life in the city's hour of need. No! He's an idiot who pissed off some gutter mage with a flair for petrification. To this day, I still don't know all the details. The few occasions I visited his monument, well, I took it as a moment for reflection. To think of old friends, and the fight I had to continue in their name. And during all my self-serious brooding, that big, dumb, insufferable buffoon was staring me in the face. I did. On occasion, I even found myself critiquing the stonework. Surely his head was not so large as this. I cannot call myself a particularly good friend. But I am his friend. And I cannot let nine fingers have him. Hush your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power, I. But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. Moradin's cracked clay. There is no gold in here! If there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath... <laughs> he 
It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort in your final moments. <laughs> Meet Minsk. He still seems very much himself to me. You will listen to me. Enough play, Stone Lord. What in the howling hells? Oh. Nine Fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jahira. Slarning shape changers! Enough! Let us deal with these cultists. Then find out where they are nesting. You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that mimic could swallow a bloody owlbear. Wait. You're no guild sworn. Who are you? You're missing your motley, Jester. We softened our defenses to lure that bastard in. Nine fingers. Wants the Stone Lord dead. With what he cleared from our vaults, he's got enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. You think anyone told me? Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name or the absolutes? Just. Step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth. <laughs> no one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the coin he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it? Try all of it. Every penny of civilian lodgings, anyway. I mean, not like we'd lead him into the private vaults. But still, a lot of Baldurians waking up poor tomorrow. What he can do with that kind of coin... Oh, ...doesn't bear thinking about. Compassion for your fellow folk, or maybe just good sense. That much money only paints a target on your back. In our hands, it keeps the city ticking over. Stock in merchant stalls, food in hungry bellies. Retrieve the coin, and I'll make sure you are well rewarded. Feel free to poke around this place and it'll help you pick up the Stone Lord's scent. Me? I've got ledgers to amend. I grow tired of these false faces. Every corner we turn, another. And now it is my face they use to turn Minsk against us. I am sorry, but... I am just tired. It is some defect of the mind, I think, to stubbornly insist you are following the light, even as you blunder through the darkness. Or perhaps the defect is mine. When I left Minsk to this fate, 
I believed I had no choice. I believe it still. We were ignorant of our enemy, unarmed against the cult. I made the right decision, but I do not like how easily I made it. Minsk would have never left me behind, no matter what happened. That is his problem entire. The past century left Minsk unchanged. And so he believes the world has never changed, that I have not. You saw the fool. Hanging on the doppelgangers every word for no other reason than it wears my face. No. But snotting into my sleeve while there is still work to do is. Come then. We need a lead on where these shapeshifters have fled to. Let's see what hints they left behind in the vault. These footprints started in the sewers. in here. Some rests better than none. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your Lord's work. Our Lady. We serve only the Absolute. Oh, silly me. We enter him are so long past our own godly roots. I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect. And you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought... Wait. Lop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall.
against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage, flaring brighter every moment. Cute. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Elithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The Mind Flayer pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought, and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jagira. You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. Jahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Then you have two, and as many more as I can rip from enemy shoulders. But I have more than Minsk alone to offer. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? Someday I will sit down. I mean it. Is that blood? No, never mind. With haste. Where are you? Squeak, so I might know you are well. My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings.
but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mins to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you. No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half. ...and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you... ...and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil... ...together! have a great many companions already. There is no room for little Boo. Or slightly larger Minsk. Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but... ...as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. I think you might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Huh? Chasing rumor halfway around the city and back. Crossing the guild. Wading through filth. Defying the one creature upon whom your very life depends. All for a madman and his rodent. The absolute threatens thousands. The entire coast. And still you risk much to help one man. I should berate you. But... I can only say thank you. Your reasons were your own. But whether you meant for it or not, your fight is our fight. Huh? Both of us. To the very end. He is an ass. I can make no promises beyond that. But even so. Lead the way. 
Where yours to command. <laughs> 